Hi, this is Steve. Hey, Steve, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on, property on Lad Hill. Is that still for sale? Uh, not at this time. Oh, damn, okay. You know, you actually spoke to a partner of mine, Benson, last week. Um, you mentioned you hate the politics of Ca Oregon, California. You wanted to get out of there. Is that still the, that's still the story, right? That's still the story. Hey, I, that's, why I, that's why I left Seattle, Stephen. So what's going on, man? Where are you planning on going to? Anywhere but Washington, Oregon, or California. <laughs> or New York. Or New York. Or New or York. Massachusetts. Yep. Or, you know, or Michigan. I get it, man. So you're probably wanting to go where? Arizona, Texas, Texas Florida? One of them. Anywhere. Okay, so you Oregon. haven't decided where you want to go yet, right? Yes, I have. I just don't see why that's relevant in the conversation. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm calling because your property sat on the market in one of the hottest markets we've ever seen. And uh -huh. it, it just raises some red flags. So did your agent give you any feedback on why your property didn't sell? Um, yes, there were a number of things. One, I did turn down multiple offers that weren't full price. Okay. And I won't sell it for less than full price. Yeah, Steve, especially in this market, you shouldn't have I to agree. sell it for anything less than what it's and worth, right? So the last offer that I turned down before I got pissed and pulled it from the market was not full price, and they wanted uh, turnkey, including all of our furniture. Oof, okay. Literally, just yeah. give them the keys. <laughs> Take your personal stuff and go. And I said, you know, I'm done with this. Okay. So, so Steve, it sounds like you don't want to waste time with unqualified buyers. Is that right? That is 100% correct. Okay, gotcha. Now, when this property sells, Steve, where were you planning on going? Don't care. You just want to get out of there, huh? I want to turn to cash. Okay. I can't count on the idiot in the White House, so I'm turning to cash right now. I love that. I love that. All right, Steve. Well, if I can help you turn that money, turn that house into cash properly this time around, then it sounds like it would make sense for you to. It sounds like it would make sense for you, right? Um. Yeah. I guess I have a real basic question. Yeah. What did you see wrong with the listing? Well, I noticed uh, right, like right off the bat, I saw the photos. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of people moving into Oregon from out of state or overseas investing. And we want to make sure that your property reflects as best as it can for someone to feel comfortable making an offer not in person, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just one of the things that we I wanted to go over with you, Steve. So let's get together. Let's go over exactly what I can get this property for. And if it makes financial sense for you, then we can make a decision from there. So Let me ask a different question. If you knew, did you know it was on the market like before? Yes. No, I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. Okay. No, no I focus no, on selling. I, I focus on my listings. I, I specialize in listings, Steve. That's what I do. And in fact, while your property sat on the market, I, I was just busy selling my listings. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, I tell you what. I have four real estate agents that I'm interviewing when between Wednesday and Saturday. And a fifth one just desperately pleaded for a slot on Monday. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Monday. You sound like a busy guy, Steve. I sound like a, uh, someone who has no time for bullshit anymore. Right. In the real estate world. And you want to make sure that the next pick, Steve, is the agent that ends you with the most cash in your pockets, right? You have no yeah, time to dilly dally. That. No, I cannot guarantee you that, but I, I'm confident in what I'm able to do. And I want to show you exactly what I can do to turn that house into cash so that we don't have to keep fucking around with this White House so, garbage. So let me ask in your listings. Yeah. How many, how many rural acreage homes did you list or sell in the last 12 months? That's a great, that's a great question, Steve. I actually have someone in my office that specializes in those kinds of properties and I'm gonna, bring, I'm gonna be bringing them with me so that we can all have a group discussion on exactly how we can turn your house into as much cash as possible. Where's that agent located at? We're over in Oregon. Oregon where? Portland, Portland. We're over in Portland. Oh, in Portland. Yeah. Downtown or? Because this isn't yeah. a downtown property at all. Yeah, no, we got that. Got it. Yeah. Um, I, I so look, I, I know I know you're busy. I want to be respectful of your time. Let's get together. Let's go over exactly what I can do to get your property sold for as much cash as possible. And let's do it right this time. So I, what, I agree 100%. So give me a call on Monday. Okay. And if I don't like anybody that I talk to, and that's one of the reasons I'm talking to them, to interview them, make decisions, to call the herd. Because I'm getting a dozen of these calls a day. Oh, I'm sure. Especially with a property so, like yours, I'm sure. 
Well, and I haven't told you the things I changed in the house since it was listed. Mm, okay. So, so it's it's so ready to sell. Perfect. So, uh, and I don't, I, I am disconnected from the property, so I've depersonalized the whole thing. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, okay. The point is Monday. Yeah. If I don't like anything I've heard, I'm going to continue. I'm going to fill the slots till I find the person that excites me about listing my house this time. Okay. And what would excite you? Somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. Okay. Sounds like you need a competent and confident agent that's been doing this for a long time, huh, Steve? And doing rural properties and that will specialize in rural properties. Rural properties. is willing to engage in the sale of my house. Was your previous agent not willing to do that? Oh, no. She was there all the time. She was there at every single showing. Oh. All three of them. Three? How, wait, how long was your property listed? Seven months. Three showings in seven months? Yes. Oh my God. Now you know why I'm looking for a new agent. Okay. So Steve, I mean, there's, look, Steve, I've got a database full of buyers at your price point. I want to show you exactly how we can use that to leverage the most amount of, to leverage that, to find you the most amount of offers to get you the highest price possible. Got so it. Steve, let me do you one better. Instead of wasting your time dilly-dallying with, your all, with all the other agents, let's get together sometime Wednesday or Thursday, 5 to 6 p.m. Let me show you exactly what I can do for you. What time works best there, 5 or 6 p.m. or on Wednesday or Thursday? Monday, call me, and we will set one of those a new time. Okay. What's stopping you from I meeting guess, earlier? Because I've never heard from you. I have to check out your firm, and I've already got five people that are qualified to talk to me already. So I don't, I don't know to be excited about you. Okay. Hey, I totally understand that. I mean, I get that. So, You're... so I've done my background homework on the on the people that are coming. Uh -huh. I need to look you up and see what you're like. Perfect. What you're offered. Perfect. And I'm so going to do you I'm one better. You before you come. And I'm going to do you one better, Steve. I'm going to send you a pre-listing packet so that you Great. with a with an inf with information about my brokerage and my team and what we do to get properties sold for top dollar. So how about we do this? Let's set it for Monday, five or six p.m. Let's meet then, assuming that nobody. You got to do Tuesday to Tuesday to Friday. Okay. What time works best for you on Tuesday? Anytime I work out of my home. Okay. How about we set something for 4 p.m. on Tuesday? Sure. That's perfect. Great. What's a good email for you? I'm going to send you a Google Calendar invite. Great. Perfect. I'm going to send you a Google Calendar invite for that. I'm also going to send you a text confirmation. I'm going to be meeting you out there with my best rural agent to take care of your property, and we're going to go over exactly how we can get you the most amount of money for that okay. property, okay? Can I Sorry. count on you to be there on Tuesday, Stephen? No, I'm going to count on you to be there. I live there. Okay, I mean, so this is my full-time job. This is what I eat, breathe, and sleep, Stephen. That's so I will see you there then on Tuesday, okay? No, what I also want if you open with, here's all the, the $12 million in real estate I sold last week, I don't care. All I care about seeing is how you're going to market my house and bring me the buyer. Perfect. And when you start talking comps, I'm going to throw you out of my house too because rural acreage is unique. So now I'm going to look at somebody and say, tell me what the value you think the value and you can sell this for. Okay. Sounds I, great. I literally don't care about anybody else. Okay. I, I, hear, I hear you, Stephen. You don't give a fuck about comps. You okay. want to know what we can do to market your property for to me. the most amount of buyers. For me, yes. All right, perfect. Steve, I will see Go you ahead. on Tuesday, okay? Sounds good. Thank All you. All right, talk to you later. Dude, he's going to be so mad when the agent shows up, I'll tell you that. Ben, you need to go. You need to hand deliver that PLP. You need to hand deliver that PLP. Try to get that motivation again. Go there with a rural agent. Go there, find one in your area, Zillow that. Find one in your area, go there with the rural agent and try to set an appointment for sooner. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna Damn, go. that was tough. That was tough. What is there to learn from this, guys? And I'm, a I'm asking the, uh, you know, the, the coaching students, what, what did you learn from that? You match your personality quite well. Yeah, you, yeah, you match yeah, your personality. Yeah, I was gonna say. So we're gonna go into we're gonna go into personality types uh, in a future week. But he was a driver. He's straight to the point. I'm not I'm not giving him fluff. I'm using the same words that he wants. 
He says, I want a rural, a rural agent that specializes in rural properties. I don't give a fuck about comp, I don't give a fuck about comps. I want to know what you're going to do to market the property. And I saw in the close, I use all those words. Okay. Matching the energy app, matching the personality type. Hey Z, this is Aaron with EXP. Um, we were scheduled to meet earlier uh, or later today. How you doing? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I, I get it. Things things pop up. Uh, it's all good. I just wanted to. I just wanted to know. You wanted to. You know, we originally talked on the basis of you wanting to sell your property to go invest in another property. Was that the plan? Uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. What changed? I still want to invest in another property. I still want to keep my place currently. Uh -huh. uh, I just, I just don't want to move and deal with that whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I am just gonna keep it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, every we all have to have a home, right? Z, yeah, what exactly. made you want to? What made you want to sell it in the first place? Um, just getting the money I put into my property back, so I could use it to invest elsewhere. Um, that was kind of like the whole idea of it. Also, like there is a mm. building getting, mostly there was a building getting put up next door to me and I, I worked from home and I didn't want to deal with the construction throughout the day. Okay. But, yeah. Um, I can see how that's annoying. Like, yeah. And I was, I thought that my apartment or my condo would sell a lot faster than it did. Um, but the timing didn't work out with the. Uh, interest rates rising. So okay. I feel, yeah. I feel like that kind of fucked everything over. Right, and, so, the long, and the longer we wait, I'm sure you know how that's going to go. So, <laughs> Z, it sounds like you still want to make an investment onto another property. Do you have like funds coming in for that, or is it solely going to be coming from this investment of yours? Um, I have funds coming elsewhere. I just got to get everything kind of squared away on my end, and mm -hmm. so I'm thinking my timeline is maybe like next year. But that being said, I'm looking to, um, you know, do my research. Your timeline's that. looking to purchase the next property or to sell this property? To purchase the next property. Oh, I see. By next year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I brought you an offer on this property, um, would you take a look at it or are, is that out the window now? What? Like the, where I'm living now? Yeah. Yeah. I guess not. Yeah. I'm not selling. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like there's just nothing that we could do for that property at this point. But Z, did you have any plans on buying or selling any other properties in the future? Yes. Yeah, so we just said. By next year, I'm trying to like buy another like investment property. Okay. Where at? Uh, I don't know. Wherever makes the most sense. It doesn't have to be Portland, you know. It could be elsewhere. Like or, around the know. U.S.? Yeah, if it makes sense. You know, I'm open. Perfect. Okay. And when do you plan on starting to look for these properties? Well, I'm looking now, but realistically, for me to pull a trigger, the trigger and actually do it, it's probably mm -hmm. going to be next year. Okay. If we found a deal that made sense for you, like in the next 30 days, maybe even 60 days, would you take a look at that? I'm willing to look at a lot of things. Mm. And if it's a good enough deal, I could, you know, make some stuff happen. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you know, but EXP is a technology company, and we have a database full of off-market properties that we can get um, to our buyers with no bidding war to participate in. And I'm sure you know how why that's going to be so important for you and your ROI on your money, right? Yeah. Okay. So how about this? How about we get together next Monday or Tuesday over a Zoom? Let me just show you what we've got, and if it makes sense for you, um, we can make a decision from there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down to, to have that conversation. So, um, cool. yeah, this was, you gotta go ahead and send me an invite. Yeah, how about how about a 4 p.m. on Tuesday? Um, or 5? Uh, the 17th? Yeah. Uh, Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, I could probably make um, 4 o'clock work. Cool, cool. So Z, I'm gonna send you a Google invite. Um, I'll text you a confirmation for that. I'll call you the morning of, and can I count on you to be there, Z? Yeah, and if I can't make it, I will let you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, you're, I trust you. You're, you're pretty good about that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I, 
that's just rude for me not to show up, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, man. I will uh, see you at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, okay? Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I just let you know, um, I don't know if you work with Benson directly, but he's been great. So. I, oh, I'm awesome. Yeah, no, I, he's my partner. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's great right. to hear. Thank you, Z. Yeah, no problem. All right, take All right, care. Talk to you soon. That's so sweet. What do you say? I, I couldn't hear you. He's in love with you. This is the worst. He's in love with Aaron. All right, so um, I, I want to get some feedback on that, but Ben, get Jason to go on that with you, okay? I'm not so good with I'm not so good with investors. Uh, Jason Wyndham, he's in my he's in my outline. Have you met him yet? Okay. Have you met him yet? No, I saw him yesterday. Like we talked for a little bit. Okay. Offer him a percentage for this transaction. He's he's an expert on he's an expert with investors. Um, go on the Zoom meeting with him, and Jason will help you out with that. Okay. Oh, this is a buyer consultation. Right? This is a buyer's consultation. He doesn't want to sell anymore. He has no motivation to sell. So, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I asked him. I asked him. Um, I asked him like almost every question. Like, I tried to come in at different angles. Um, so, when do you want to buy next year? Okay, so if I you, you want to buy a house next year? Do you have funds coming in to pay for that if you don't sell? Like I'm, I'm just trying to see if he has money coming in elsewhere or does he need to sell? He says he has money coming in elsewhere. I'm like, okay, so if I brought you an offer on this property, would you take it? He's like, no, I'm not even like trying to look. I'm not, I'm not even trying to look at it. I'm like, okay, so this guy is not motivated to sell his property. Yeah. Well, if you ever were to buy or sell another piece of property in the future, when would that be? He said, I told you, next year. Perfect, what are you looking for? Investment property, where? Portland, anywhere, anywhere. Let me help you with that. And now we have a, we have, I couldn't solve his problem of not, his expired home not selling or selling his expired home that didn't sell. Um, but I found his motivation. His motivation was originally to, it was to, it was to buy a house, and to do that, he had to sell his house. Yeah. His motivation is still there. However, he just doesn't need to sell his house anymore. Yeah. So I said, okay, well, let me let me help you find that motivation. Let me help you buy, find that house. Okay. Does anyone have any questions on what I just did? That's pretty good. Okay. Myra, she called she called me back, sweet lady. She couldn't find a replacement on the west side of Palmdale, which is a nicer area. Her husband had to have a surgery, so they canceled. She still wants to sell. Hello? Hey Myra, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling you about your property over on Nantucket Drive. Is that still for sale? No, it's not for sale. Okay. You actually spoke with a partner of mine, um, Kevin. You mentioned that you wanted to move over to the west side of Palmdale. Is that still the case? Yeah, but there was no inventory at the time. And right now with the interest rates um, going up, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah, the interest rates definitely are going up, Myra. If I could find you a property over there, is that still something you'd be interested in? Mm, not at this time, no. Mm, okay, so plans just completely fell through. Yeah. All right. Darn, well, Myra, what was the whole reason you wanted to go to West Palmdale in the first place? I wanted a better neighborhood, and at the time, the interest rates were low, and the value um, was low. Now, I don't see it happening right now, and I just changed jobs, so... Okay. I can't make that move right now. Yeah. Would you be able to get financed? Yeah, I'm sure I could. Oh. But um, I'm pretty comfortable with what I have right now, so I don't see it happening right now. Okay. Well, Myra, if you're comfortable, you're comfortable. If I could find you a house in west in the west side of Palmdale for an agreeable price, is that something you'd still be interested in? Maybe if if it's. Maybe. Take notes. Uh, I mean, it all depends. I don't know if I, I could see it happening right now because, like I said, the interest rates are kind of high and the prices are kind of high right now. Yeah. So I don't see it. Um, I don't, right now, I don't, I don't feel like I want to jump into that endeavor, but in the sure. future, maybe. Yeah, Myra, there's no commitment. I'm just seeing what, what you're looking for so that on my end, we can take a look at what's available here. What kind of home are you looking for? The same size. The same size? Yeah. Okay. Let me yeah. let me pop that in here real quick. 
anything different about the house you want? I just wanted it to be on the west side. <laughs> okay, like a same house but in the west side. Yeah. Okay. Well. Mm, anything west of Palmdale, um, Palmdale, but mm, I don't even want to consider West Lancaster anymore. Just West Palmdale. Yeah, you just want that better neighborhood, huh? Yeah, but I kept getting outbidded by fifty to sixty thousand at the time. I I, I figured now it would be up to eighty to ninety thousand. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the current market, Myra. Have you ever yeah, heard of off-market properties? You know what that is? Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I don't see it happening. I don't see myself committing to something that's in the four hundred thousand range at this time. What is the budget that you're looking for? Right now, I'm at two. Right now, I'm at two ninety. Two hundred ninety thousand. Yeah. Is that right realistic? Now, um, I could. See Kevin, is that realistic? Maybe three fifty, but I don't see that as a. Uh, being a realistic amount for the west side okay i mean myra you'd be surprised especially with the off-market homes mm -hmm. um a lot of buyers don't really understand what's what's possible here it's it the whole the whole reason that you weren't able to get into the homes be, was because you were getting outbid by all the other offers right myra mm -hmm. yeah what if i could show you a way where we don't have to play with other people and you have direct access to an off-market property where the seller hasn't listed the property yet mm -hmm. is that something you'd be interested in maybe if i could see the numbers okay and i'm not i'm not asking you to make it a commitment myra but what i want to do is this let's get together hop on a zoom i just want to show you what's on my computer screen take a look at the homes that are available and if it makes financial sense for you from there, then we can make a decision. Okay. So I got time on my calendar next Monday or Tuesday at five or six. Which one works better for you? Um, maybe six will be better, Monday. Perfect. Myra, what's a good email for you? I'm gonna send you a Google Calendar invite. Okay, it's um, M. Perfect, I'm gonna send you a Google Calendar invite. I'm gonna send you a follow-up text as well. And can I count on you to be on that Zoom on Tuesday at, was it four? Uh, six. Six. Tuesday at six. Can I count you to be on that Zoom? Sure. Perfect. I'll give you a call that morning of, and I'll talk to you then, okay? Sounds good. All right. Talk to you later, Myra. All right. Bye. Okay. So she didn't want to sell. She didn't want to buy anymore. But what did I do? I rerouted her problem, or we rerouted the motivation, found out, well, is this something you'd still want to buy? No. If it made sense for you financially and we found you a house that made sense for you financially, it would that make sense for you? Maybe. Okay, what kind of house are you looking for? This is the house that I'm looking for. Okay. Well, then let's meet. I want to show you exactly what we... Like the problem was being outbid. So we took that problem away by showing her a potential off-market. We, we, we told her about possible off-market properties. We took that problem away and we focused... And now we can just solely focus on the motivation. And so now we set an appointment based on that. Does anyone qu have questions on what I did? Okay. You want me to call Lily? Yeah, Lily. That's in her notes. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. National Nation Cleveland Forest. What is that? Uh, those were just the notes I took when I called her. I don't know. Okay. All right. Four bedrooms. Couple of they got a couple of offers. Don't like negotiations. Spent hundreds of thousands on house. Bad experience with realtor. So we're, I'm gonna have to ask what happened. Hey, Lily. Hello? Hey, Lily, this is Aaron with eXp Realty. Um, I'm calling about your property over on Gillette Street. Is that still for sale? So, are you a realtor? Yeah. Is that still for sale? So you have a buyer? Yeah, I work with a database full of buyers, Lily. So you've been speaking to a partner of mine, Jason. You mentioned that you wanted to get this property sold, but you weren't liking the offers you got. Is that right? Uh, yeah, you kind of you have a buyer, right? Yeah, yeah. In this market, I'm not, I'm not hired realtor for this thing. Okay. Okay, but is, you, you still want to sell it? If I have a buyer offer, 
Perfect. Okay, so, sounds like you're still willing to sell. That's that's all I need, Lily. So, Lily, um, you mentioned you had a bad experience with your realtor. What happened? I don't have time to talk to you now, uh, okay? I'm leaving now. Okay, yeah, I get you're busy, Lily. Just what happened with your... Uh, where were you planning on going after this property sold? I can't talk to you right now, please. I have to go. Lily, if I brought you an offer in the next 30 days, would you take a look at it? I'm sorry? Would you take a Would you take a look at an offer if I brought it to you within the next 30 days? Sure. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, Lily, I, I got to know, like, what's your whole plan here? I have to go, please. I can't hang up to you. I have to, have to talk to you first. I can't talk to you now before I hang up people waiting for me i have to leave for now yeah you, okay? you sound like you sound like a really busy person lily when would be a better time for me to call back thank you bye-bye <laughs> she's going to cry <laughs> someone says she's going to cry okay i'm calling Adel adela ventura tenant lives there she wants to sell it the lease is over in november Hey Adela, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property over on Hickory Street. Is that still for sale? No. No. no I didn't. Okay. No, All right. Well, Adela, if I could give, if I brought you an offer, would you take a look at that? No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. No. Okay. One no. second. Hey, was this property listed previously? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I saw this property came off the market. Um, what was your whole goal when you had this property listed for sale in the first place? Like, where, what were you planning on doing? Uh, before I want to sell it because my sorry, my husband is sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? And, and now he has passed away, and I want to keep it. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Damn, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Adela. I know. Okay, so was it like to pay for medical bills or what? What? What was that for? No, no, nothing that happened. Only the because I want somebody helping to me protect him. He died before I cancel. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So Adela, if I could help you sell this property, is that something you'd still be interested in? No, I, I don't think so. I think I'm, I want to keep it for longer. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Plans change. I get it. Well, Adela, if you if you bought or sold a property in the future, when do you think that would be? Rent in the apartment. <laughs> you're in, you're in an apartment. Uh huh. <laughs> that's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Let me ask you this in a different way, then, Adela. If you sold that rental property in the future, when do you think that would be? Uh, I don't know. Because I think you mentioned that the lease is over in November, right? Uh huh. The lease is over in November, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and when it's when the lease is over, do you would you take an offer on that? Is the good money for my hand? It's good. I good say. money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I like good money. How much? How much is good money to you, Adela? <laughs> that that's a good question, Adela. Uh -huh. So, it's because it's, it's like, whatever you have, it's, it's good enough. But, uh, now I don't have too much equity because I sell it. I, I sorry, I refinance it. I pay all everything. I have it for pay. Mm -hmm. And now, if you said maybe maybe I have hundred twenty in my hand. Okay. And I don't so you're saying if you sold it, you wouldn't get enough money back? Is that what you're saying? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Maybe 120. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So if let's let's say you did get 120 back, is that worth it for you to sell? I don't think so. Okay. How much would you need for this to be worth it for you to sell? 
150. One second. Kevin, is that doable? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. I have to look at this one again. Okay. Well, Adela, it sounds to me that you, you would still be interested in selling this property if it made financial sense for you, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's do this then. Adela, let's get together next week. Let's go over exactly what we can do to get your property sold at the price that you want. And if it makes sense for you from there, then we can we can make a decision from there. So I've got time tomorrow. I got time next week, Monday at five or seven. Which works better for you? Um, the phone? By phone? Sure. Can you do a Zoom? Uh, I don't have the computer. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's do it over the phone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Five or seven on Monday. Which works better for you? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Perfect. And the and the afternoon on the morning. In in the afternoon. The seven's way, okay. seven's way too early. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Adela, I'm going to send you a... Is this a number I can text? Yes. Okay, I'm going to send you a confirmation for Monday at 7, and I'll give you a call then, okay? Can I count on you to be there? Thank you. Adela, can I count on you to be there on the phone call? Yes, yes. Perfect. Adela, I will see you soon, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Have a good day. Bye. All right, what is that, the fifth listing appointment? That'll be good. Yeah. All right. Should try to do it in person because I don't think she turned it down yet. Um, it's a rental, so like we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to go in there. Hey guys, that's the. F I just, I just had six contacts, contacts, six people answer the phone, and I said, was it five listing appointments? Well, five appointments, five. I said five appointments. Um, this is a sign. Hey, this is a science. I could get this, I'm down to a science on this. And if you wanna learn how to do it, DM me the word coaching. DM me the word coaching if you wanna change your life and change your business. Okay, guys, um, feedback, give me, tell me what you're learning from this. That's fucking insane though. What is making this Where insane? What is, what is this, what it's is making? The persistency. Okay, so I'm not backing down when they're giving me objections. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, and if you know exactly what to say per objection, and, and also if you know exactly what they're trying to say, like that Steve guy, that, that guy who was like very, no, no, no. He was telling me like, he, he was giving me some kind of objection about Uh, he was telling me something like marketing, no comps, like I need a rural agent. And I'm, and I'm, I wrapped it up as he's, what he's saying is he needs a competent agent who understands rural homes. That's what he wants. He's saying he wants the marketing. He's saying he wants, a, he wants this, he wants that, he wants that. But what he's really saying is he wants someone competent. Okay. So if you understand what they're really saying and you can, have, and you can handle that, then you can, it's like a dance. Like I'm never arguing with these people. I'm actually very agreeable with these people. Like, I'm never disagreeing with them. Um, if I don't get to your numbers, don't see that... Guys, the worst way to look at this is, oh, he's not calling my leads. What the fuck? No, the, the real value in this is to listen to what I'm doing and take away, take away the, the tactics and strategies that I'm using. That's the true value here. Yeah, I can set a listing appointment for you. Yeah, you make, you'll make 15, 20K. But listen to what I'm doing so that you could use this on your clients forever. Okay? Oh, that's all your guys' leads? All right. Well, fucking, I guess we're done for the day. No, I want to hang out. We'll, we'll, we'll continue yeah. hanging out. Okay. Yeah, guys, by the way, to, to everyone that's on this right now, the coaching students, I want you guys to know, like, these agents of mine... We just, we just hang out on Zoom and dial all day. So if you want to be a part of this, join the Yoon group. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be dropping that every, every time until you make that switch. This is the best fucking group. This is, yeah, this is like, if you want to succeed, you be in here for real. You get a shitload of listens. I got five in my first month. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin's three months in. 
All right. Um, does anyone have any questions before we call it a day? By the way, oh shit. By the way, um, yesterday's group coaching call is posted in the it's posted in the school platform, so you could go rewatch that. Okay. Uh, we focus on time audit and the the framework of selling. So go rewatch that. I know I think a few of you had to drop out earlier, so like go watch that. You need to go watch that. Okay, you paid money to be here. Like you need to learn how to do that before we continue on the next weeks. Okay. Um, track your shit. I I gave you tasks to do. So Aliza, Kevin, Ryan, Jason, uh, Lenita, Patrick, go look at that new post. I gave you tasks. Be clear on your goals. Be able to visualize them. I think I gave you like two more tasks. Do the time audit. Do the time audit. And um, find your guys' accountability partners on there to help each other with the role plan stuff. <laughs> Question, did you have any fear starting? And if so, how did you get over it? Yes. Yes, I had a lot of fear. Go I had a lot of fear doing this um, th three, four years ago. Yeah. And it would show in me not, not doing the work. I would like procrastinate and be lazy. And it looked like I was procrastinating and being lazy. But it was because if you're, hey guys, if, if you're procrastinating or being lazy on anything that you should be doing, that's a, that's a surface level symptom of a limiting belief in the way. So if there's something that you're avoiding doing, that's because you don't think it's possible for you. It means you have a fear of success, a fear of failure, a fear of embarrassment, a fear of what people will think of you or some other shit. You know what I mean? I'm like there's- I'm ugly for this world. <laughs> All right, Dustin. <laughs> um, yeah, so how I got over it, um, you have two choices. You have three choices. Number one is to just, number one is to just, oh, whoops. Number one is to just get good at the thing by just forcing yourself to do it, which is the hardest method. Uh, number two is to get rid of the limiting beliefs that is stopping you. And if you want to get rid of the limiting beliefs, um, I can help you with help you with that. It is not free. It is not free. But I can help you with that. And uh, number three is... I guess there's only two options. You force... Are you about Avatar The Last Airbender? Yeah, you can force yourself to... You can force yourself and will yourself to get... Like, do the thing that you hate doing. Or you can remove that belief that's stopping you from doing it in the first place. Forcing yourself is definitely challenging. Yep, it's an uphill battle. You're rolling a boulder up, up a cliff. Um, it's it's tough. Jeez. Oh, there is a third option, actually. There is a third option. You join the best real estate group in the fucking world with the greatest account with the greatest coaching and accountability. And that's how that's that's a great middle option. That's a great middle option. All right, I'm calling this a day. Thanks for watching.